Assalamu alaikum learners, welcome back to the third lesson of science of this week. And our today's topic is basic needs. In this lesson, you will recall the basic needs of living things and differentiate habitats of living things. Here are your keywords. On number one, we have air. Number two, water. Number three, food. Number four, shelter. And number five, habitat. Let's brainstorm what are the basic needs of living things. Something very important that we all need to stay alive. Let's move on. Here we are going to talk about what are the first, uh, all the needs. We will talk about them in detail. The first need is air. You all breathe in air through your nose and mouth. Animals also do the same. But some animals that live in water breathe in a different way. Can you recall how do they breathe? Animals that live under the water have a special system. They have some gills. They breathe through their gills. And some of them absorb water through a special organ called gills. One of the other basic need is water. You all drink water. We water plants too. They are alive. They are just like us. They need to water to make food. Then humans and animals also drink water. It's very important for animals, some animals live in water, even they need water to drink. Just like you can see in the picture, dolphins, sharks and seahorses, some of them drink water, while some of them have a special kind of a skin. The skin absorbs water in their body. Let's move on to another basic need. Food. You all need food. You all have to eat food to stay alive. So, some animals eat only other animals. Can you think of those animals? Like lions, tigers. They hunt and eat another animals. That's their food. These animals are called carnivores. Such as these. Then, some animals eat only plants. They are called herbivores. Can you think of those animals? Cows, buffaloes, rabbits, elephants, goats, sheep. These animals, they eat only plants. While there is another type of animals that eat both. We can say they eat meat, they eat grass as well, such as bear, such as duck. We are also a living animal, humans too. So we are termed as omnivores. Anything that eats both plants and flesh of other animals like meat and chicken are called omnivores. So for humans, and most of the animals, one of the most important basic need is shelter. Shelter is home where you live a safe and healthy life. It keeps you safe from the bad weather, from hot or cold. So these are some of the shelters. And let's say and think who lives in these shelters. House. Who lives in a house? You can pause the video here and take your time. Then we have another shelter. Cave. Can you imagine? Who must have been living in caves or who still lives in cave? Then we have a tree. Tree is shelter to many animals. Think of those. Then we have here a nest. What is Nest shelter for which animals? Pause the video, take your time and answer this slide. 
here is a challenge for you. I want you to have your notebooks, set the timer for one minute, and think of as many animals as you can that might live in a tree. Yes. And challenge yourself. You can start now. You can pause the video here, put a timer, and answer as many as you can. Let's move on. Caring for animals. It's so important to care for animals because some of the animals, they are no longer in their natural habitat. Some of them are kept as pets at home. So it's our responsibility to look after them, to care for themselves because they cannot do it for themselves. So we have to take care of their happiness and their health. Do you have a pet? What do you do to keep it happy and healthy? We keep animals as pets, like hamsters, like cats. We keep animals in zoo as well. And we keep animals on the farm. But all of these are not their natural habitats. They all are kept like that so we have to make sure that they lead a good happy and healthy life here because their natural habitat is different here is a challenge let's see who's up for the challenge pick your card and answer you can pause the video right here and answer your card last but not the least i'll leave you with this link to practice the live worksheet have a good day learners and I'll see you next week with some interesting topics in science. Assalamu alaikum.